Hey guys, Boneyard here. As you can tell, it's leaf season and uh, pretty busy with blowers. And I got this uh, Billy Goat leaf vacuum here that uh, the guy wants me to give it a service. Needs a new pull cord rope all tied up. And uh, he wants to put a new fan on it. It's a new fan here. So, uh, replaced the inner liner uh, not too long ago. That should be okay. And as you can see, the side of it's pretty beat up. But as long as you replace that inner liner before it wears out, that wouldn't happen. So, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, change the fan on this. First thing you want to do which I already did, is take all these half inch nuts off all the way around. And once you get that off, you get this to pop right off. You just gotta be careful because you got your safety switch right here. You don't want to break the wire. So as you can see, these two up here are notched. And that's for, because it, the other end slides up underneath there. So you want to pull that out at the bottom and then Slide it out like that, and just move it away. The next thing you want to do is take this center nut off, this bolt that holds to the crankshaft, and as you can see, the fan's pretty, pretty tired. In the line of here looks pretty good. This is just grass and stuff we'll clean that up once we get the fan off. So. Okay, the way to let me get that center nut off, the center bolt off. Try to do this one-handed. Okay. And there you have it. There's your key. There's your crank in there. Which I don't know why they don't have that crank come all the way through. Because I've seen a couple of them actually snap the crankshaft off. Uh, but anyway, that's how they designed it. So, I mean, there's a couple ways I guess you can get this off. You can uh, try to get a crowbar or a bar behind here. Take your, uh, if you have an air hammer, get in there with a bolt and do it that way. Make sure you don't mark your threads up. Or put a bolt in there and hit it with a hammer. Just got to be careful. But... Sometimes that takes forever, you know? I, I use a puller right here. That seems to work good for me. It's one of those big three finger pullers. And if you don't have one, you know, for like whatever they are, I think this is a Harbor Freight one my father bought years ago, and it, well, I'm still using it. Probably only like $25 Harbor Freight. So if you got one of these and you know you're going to be doing this, Instead of trying to beat around with it and perhaps you might wreck your threads in your crankshaft or whatever, you just go buy one of these for 20 bucks. That way you have it. You know, it's always about the tools. I mean, there's other ways to do it. I get it. But sometimes you just get the right tools and it's a lot easier. And like I said, 20 bucks. I'd rather pay 20 bucks for this tool than beat on this thing for three hours to try to get it off and, you know, risk marking your threads up or, or hurting the crankshaft so i'm gonna put the camera down and i'm gonna get the uh i'm gonna get the uh puller hooked up and then we'll show you how it works okay so i got the puller on there as you can see i got all three fingers up underneath the fan good make sure they're in there as far as you can get them and then i got the center bolt right to the middle and uh I already uh, knocked it loose. So all you do want to do is you want to get a socket and a ratchet. Get on there. Some people use impact. You can. I've done it before. But sometimes a, a ratchet is better. And if it's not long enough, then just get a little long one or a breaker bar. Try it that way first. So I want to try to hold it at the same time which I'm going to probably get on this side. I'm trying not to block the camera. 
and just keep turning it and then I get a little pressure on it once you get a little pressure on it if it's not coming take your hammer and smack the center here a couple taps you can try to do a couple taps in there and just pull the jar it loose a little bit there she comes and that's it I mean you can beat on it for hours, but you get the right tools. Yeah, that's the ticket, you know. Get it all the way off, yeah. Like I said, this is a cheap puller, Harbor Freight. You know, like I said, probably 20 bucks, 30 at the most. Saves you a lot of headaches. Some people try to heat them, but you got to be careful of that because you're going to heat up your uh, oil seal on your crankshaft and that's going to leak. The camera's not shaking too much. Got it off, take it out. There's your key. Which they give me a new one, so I'll put a new one in. And I will clean the shaft all up. Put some anti-seize on it so the next time it comes off a little easier. Clean all this debris out in here. And we'll go ahead and install the new one. Get a better look at this now. This is the inner liner right here. And to get that off, there's two, well, there's supposed to be another bolt here missing, so I'll put one in. Two bolts here and two bolts here. And then that inner liner right here comes right out. You can put a new one in. He replaced it, but he replaced it a little too late because you already tore up the side of it, so. As long as that's new, I think that's going to be okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to get and clean all this grass out. You don't need to see that. And uh, we'll get putting a new one on. Okay, so I have it all cleaned out. I cleaned the crankshaft up. Got my new fan here. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put the new fan on. Set you guys up here somewhere. I put some gloves on <clears throat> because that anti seize gets all over everything. Get the anti seize. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is going to coat the shaft with some anti seize. So, that will make it easier to come off again. Just a little bit. A little too crazy. See, it gets all over everything. Okay, so we're going to slide the fan on. We'll leave the key out of it for now. We don't, we don't put that in yet. It's easier to do that after. Try not to block you guys too much. And I'll slide the fan on. See how nice that went on? Clean it all up. And you can see what I'm talking about, how the crankshaft don't come all the way out. It's only like halfway. Uh, I think that's a little crazy. But like I said, I had one in here last year where the crankshaft snapped off. Uh, ruined, ruined the engine. Well, I guess I could have put a new crankshaft in it, but it was, uh, it was pretty tired. It wasn't worth it. Time I got a new crankshaft or a new motor and a new fan and everything. I just bought a new one. So 
line that up, slide that key in until it stops like that. And then get the bolt right here. Actually, they give me a new bolt and a new lock washer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that. New bolt, new lock washer, and they also put a Loctite on it. So we'll get that started. You know what? They give me a washer too, a big washer. nice thick washer but I think that goes on if you don't have this and that just covers this here like so but we're gonna go ahead and put this back on because this is what was on it and he never had it off so I think if I put the washer on and this which I guess I can and still have plenty of threads. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to go. So I think I'm going to do that. I feel better with that nice thick washer than I do this thin little plate. So I'm going to take the impact. And we want to put this. You don't want to line it up. You want to off center it like that. I don't know what the talk specs is, but I'll see if I can find out. If not, my talk specs is tight. Uh, I got the instructions. Maybe I should look at them. See if it says what to talk it to. Uh, talk in. Yep, it says it right here. I want to talk it to 38 foot pounds, it says. So, uh, so I'll talk it to 38 foot pounds then. It just don't seem like a lot. Thirty-eight and a half. Can't see anything. Okay. Snugged it up with the uh, impact already. Now I'm going to have to find something to hold that fan in place. And I'm going to hold it no. All right, hold on. I'm going to find something to hold that fan so it don't spin. Okay, so I got a 2 by 4 in here holding it. I loosened this back up, and uh, we'll go ahead and talk. Okay, that's what it says. Okay, we got 
that done now, we take this piece of wood back out. The only other thing we got to do is put the cover back on. So. so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit these bolts. They look like they're stainless. But the nuts aren't. I don't know why they look like it. Maybe it's not stainless. No, I guess it's not. We wouldn't have been able to weld it to the steel. Okay. So we're going to just put a little NICs on these. I know that makes mess, but a couple of them came off pretty hard. After it leaves here, I don't care how much of a mess it makes. Oh, and also before I do that, I want to, I want to find a bolt for that up there. So let me go look around for a bolt and then we'll be back. Uh, I'm sure I got something. If I didn't use them all on my metal art. Alright guys, I'll bring you back. Okay, so I got the new bolt all in there. And now we're going to put the cover back on. So you up here, I know it's a little close, but let's see if I can get something. Let's see if back a little further. Okay, so let's get this cover back on. What we're going to do is, we want to slide, if you can see this piece up underneath the chute first. Start that corner on this bolt. A little bit of a tricky situation here. Then slide it in like so. That's all we need here. There we go. You want to go put the nuts back on. Like I said, I put NICs on those bolts. That's it. That's how you change a fan or impeller, whatever you guys want to call it, on a billy goat leaf back. Pretty easy. Like I said, the ticket is to get a polo like I have. I've done it the other way before. It's not fun. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and service this. I'm not going to video that. But when I get it all done, we will uh, come back and and crank it up and make sure that impeller isn't hitting anything in there. So, okay guys, we'll be back after I get a service. Okay, so we have it all back together. I serviced it, put a new pull, put a new pull cord on it. So uh, it's all ready to go. Uh, start it up, see how it runs. Make sure that fan's not hitting. Set you guys up over here.
Joe. The switch is on. Sounds good. Well, that's how you change fan or impeller, whatever you want to call it, on a Billy Goat Leaf that. All right, guys. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope this helped you guys out on how to change a impeller. And uh, share my videos, tell your friends. Okay, guys, have a good day. Be safe out there. Going yards out.